Welcome back everyone for some more Super Mario Maker 2. And in today's video, I'm going to be playing Super Mario Bros. 3 Snow Levels. And, much like my Super Mario Bros. 1 Forest Levels video, the first two uh, levels I'm going to play are ones that I've actually played off camera, but I wanted to show you guys because I thought they were really cool. And this first one is by Hounsel from Canada, and the name of it is The Great White North, which is appropriate. It's a standard theme level, and the info says easy to medium difficulty, slopes, slides, horizontal, and vertical. And there's a course ID in case you guys want to play it, so without further ado, let's get this video started. By the way, I hope you guys are doing well today. I'm doing pretty decent. And there's once again Toadette. I'll probably play Toadette for a little while longer before I switch back to Toad. And... What I noticed one thing whenever I played this off camera is at the beginning of this is very similar to the Cold Cooper Conundrum level that I made um, in this game. Okay, there's a vine that you need to get. I still find it kind of sad that they made new music for the snow theme in Mario Brothers 3, but they didn't add new music to the desert or forest themes. To me, that just, se uh, that just seems like a missed opportunity, and also desert theme, too. Oh, I think I did say desert. And the sky theme is pretty much the athletic theme from Super Mario Bros. 3, which I don't mind, man. I like the athletic music, but they really could have given new themes to the desert and forest themes in Super Mario 3. And now, as far as this, these vertical sections, it really doesn't matter what direction you go to. It, you pretty much end up in the same spot. And you do have to collect three coins. See, either way, you end up here. And there's a checkpoint. It's always welcome. Doesn't matter, but since I went left the first time, I'm gonna go... Right this time. And we meet up here. There's another mushroom. There's a... One up right there. Go left again. And we meet here. There's no fire flower. I don't think I checked out. Oh, there's icicles right there. I actually don't think I've made it here. Oh! I actually kind of want to see. Crap, that was a missed opportunity. Okay, nice. There's that coin. And once again, we just meet up here, but I don't think I've actually gone that way before. So I just wanted to see what that was like. I don't know why the seriously is there because... Oh, that's because... Yeah, that was, that is kind of trolly. Might as well get that. Yeah, don't... Don't trust any pipes here, because chances are there's going to be Goombas popping out of them. Yeah, this is a very fun level. I like this a lot. There's Goombas coming out of there. Yeah, as long as you keep shooting a Fire Flower, you should be okay. Just wanted to make sure. Oh. <laughs> I thought I was gonna get hit there. Nice! If I'm not mistaken, if I played this off whenever I played this off camera, I did take damage that I was not able to finish with a fire flower. And of course this level was made by a Canadian. <laughs> and that's spoken by another Canadian too, which is pretty funny, but when I read the title I thought of zombies paddling out of submarine and ice. Fair enough. But yeah, I like that level a lot, and I thought I'd show you guys it, and... This level would be more appropriate at Christmas time, but... I mean, isn't everyday Christmas when you're playing Super Mario Maker 2? I know it certainly feels like it when I play this game. This game is a lot of fun, so... 
But yeah, let's check out this one by Lloyd Spade from the U.S. And it's How the Plumber Stole Christmas. And you could probably guess what that's referencing. And the info says, It's Christmas in Doomville, but someone wants to put an end to it. There's the course ID in case you guys want to play it. Yeah, this one is a lot of fun too. I like the theme here. You get to hear the nighttime music. And in this time you have to collect nine key coins. Okay, you kind of have to go in each of the houses here and steal the presents. This music is just so pleasant. I love it. And I like how that looks like a Christmas tree too. That's a nice that's a nice uh, design there. Okay, let's steal this. You really don't get anything for getting the blocks, but figured might as well. Oh, I lost it! No! Crap. I don't- I hope I don't need that. I don't, I don't think I do, but... Okay, nice. I don't know how I managed to avoid that chain chomp, but I did. Okay. Got four out of the nine. There's another key coin right here. Let's go in here. Oh, I still wish I had my stiletto. Especially in this fight. That that really would have helped me out. Oh, I got fire flower. Okay, get him. Got two more to do. <laughs> this kid is really mad. <laughs> Okay, I'm really hoping I'm not missing any. Okay, might as well get the shoe since I lost my giant stiletto, which I'm still not very happy about that. Okay, nice. And there we go! And that's it for this level. I I enjoy this stage a lot. And in a weird kind of way, even going into all those houses and getting all those key coins, I don't exactly feel like the Grinch, especially since I'm getting rid of a bunch of bad guys, so... Crimes committed. One theft, two murder, three assault, four destruction of private property. <laughs> awesome idea. Very well done by, t by Potato Tots. And I couldn't agree more with that. I really, really like this stage. I can't believe Mario and Luigi will steal. Well, technically they didn't, Toadette did, so... You're good in that department. But now let's see what we can find here. Uh, let's try this one out. And it's by Nocturne Owl by Great Britain, or UK, whichever one you want to call it. And the title of this is Piercing Pinnacle. It's a standard theme stage, and the info says, A slippery trek up a mountain, forecast of strong winds and loose icicles. Strong winds. Ugh. <laughs> Course ID in case you guys want to play it. Are there strong winds in the nighttime theme? I thought that was just for desert. We'll find out now, won't we? Unless he means like twisters or something. Okay, let's. Okay, the light colored winds will fall. Keep on forgetting about that. I like the semi-solids and the snow theme. Owie. Oh, crap! Be careful. Yeah, thanks for telling me now. <laughs> nice. Yeah, the turquoise colored ones are the light, or the light colored ones are the ones that fall, and the ones that are actually colored like sky blue are the ones that don't fall. Okay, here are the strong winds. Apparently somebody was, is not a fan of the twisters. 
Whoa! I didn't realize they were slippery either. For the homies. <laughs> okay, yeah, I'm not too worried about that. Oh, it's a good thing I didn't... Okay. Okay, those won't fall. How? You just pretty much have to time it. Okay. Oh, you kidding? Yeah, no wonder with the seriously. Yeah, I didn't even pay attention to the munchers there. Okay, nice. Okay, those were the light-colored ones. And another way you can tell, too, is because the ones that fall, they're the ones that actually have drops coming from them. So you do have visual cues which ones drop, which ones drop, and which ones don't. Which I think is fair. It's the little details that I like. Oh, crap. Oh! Okay. Yeah, you... Okay, you just gotta time that correctly. Just gotta time these. I'm surprised I'm doing as good at this stage as what I am. Okay, nice. Oh, I need to get up. There we go. That could have been disastrous. I like that stage! That was pretty cool! And once again, nice way to actually put the icicles in there, which, yeah, they can pose as a threat, but that can also be useful, too, which I really enjoy, so... This one's getting a hurt for me, definitely, so good job, Nocturne Owl. Okay, let's on move on to the next one, and this one is Glacial Glide, and it's by C Volume from the U.S., and the information just says Slide... Which, I'm guessing there's going to be slide music from Mario 64 here, if I have to guess. This is your course ID in case you want to play it. This is a short and sweet and theme level. Let's see what's in store for me here. Oh, I wonder what the O means. <laughs> Oh, 30 coin. It's over here. I might as well grab it. Okay, those won't fall, but the dripping ones will. Okay, let's time it. Oh, crap! I wanted to time that where the Koopa got hit by the icicles. Yeah. Okay, nice. Nice. Oh, no, I meant to jump there! Crap. Yeah, I wanted to jump. I know it's probably progressive, too. Darn it. Yeah, I meant to... I actually pushed the jump button there. It just didn't register as a jump. Okay, nice. I'm trusting this level. Oh, no, no, no! Of course I would die, though. Because why wouldn't I? Darn it. And I died at the end, too. Oh, my gosh. Oh, come on. What? Beverly, but if, if you keep sliding, you could go right past those uh, Koopas. I mean... In all fairness, the, my, the way that I died was, I can't really blame the level on that. I pretty much blame myself. But, um, yeah, I didn't think it was that tough. I'm going to give it a, a hurt. Even if it was that tough, I'd still give it a hurt. I like the overall design of this stage. This was very well done. See, Volume, you did a good job of this level, so... Okay, I think I have time for one more stage. And we're going to play another Canadian level, and this is from... 
Grav Idea, I guess that's how you pronounce it. And it's Merry Merry Melancholy. It's a standard short and sweet stage, and the info says Merry as can be. And uh, there's the course ID in case you guys want to play it. See what's in store for me here. Looks like it's actually during the daytime, so we actually get to hear the normal snow theme, which, like I said before, I actually think I like the nighttime theme of the snow music better. But having said that, though, I love this music. Koji Kondo did an excellent job with the new music for this game. Oh. <laughs> Good job, Teddy. <laughs> Okay, let's see if I can try that again, but without the death this time. Okay, nice. Yeah, I jumped too early before, that's what the problem was. Okay, leave. Seems like forever since I had one of those. I think this is the first, first time I've had a leaf in this video. And there's another leaf. Toadette looks so good with the raccoon tail and the raccoon ears. Okay, this kind of reminds me of story mode a little bit. Possibly story mode inspired. Okay. And here's some of the athletic music from the for the sky theme. This music is just so nostalgic for me because I remember whenever I first played Super Mario Bros. 3 as a kid and hearing this music and absolutely falling in love with this game more than what I already did. I will always maintain that Super Mario Bros. 3 is the best 2D Mario game out there. I mean, as much as I love Super Mario World, I don't think it's quite as good as what Super Mario Bros. 3 was, because Super Mario Bros. 3 added so much more. It felt... it revolutionized the way Mario games uh, were played. Even to today, it inspired so much that future games had. Such as the map system, the uh, Tanuki Tail from Mario Brothers 3, you still see that. Uh, Hammer Brothers suit, which evolved into the Boomerang suit. But yeah, Super Mario Brothers 3, to me, revolutionized the way Mario games were to be made for the future of Mario games. And it's carried on quite a legacy. And yeah, I've given this level a stir. I pretty this was this felt like a traditional level you would see from Super Mario Bros. 3. But uh, did you know that you can change your character in settings? Yes, I did. I, I, I'm surprised how many people don't know how to do that though. So I, I think that's a fair comment to make right there. LOL, this auto scroller was stressful to live on through a small Mario. <laughs> oh, I bet. Oh, I feel bad for you, dude. Yeah, that would be hard a small Mario. Great theme and execution of design from Bastiat. I could not agree more with that. This was pretty fun by Brody B. Agree with that. And with that, I think I'm gonna end things here. I played five levels. All of them were awesome. And once again, these themed videos that I'm making, I think they're getting better and better as I keep on making them, so... And I know you guys seem to be enjoying them too, and as long as you guys are enjoying them, I'm going to keep making them because I'm having a heck of a time playing them. I'm having so much fun with these, so... But thank you guys so much for watching this, and I will see you guys again next time.